They're lightning fast and well organised. They leave few clues. These two crooks are causing mayhem in post offices across Sydney, but they're after an unlikely target. In all my years as a police officer and some time spent as a postal investigator, I haven't come across a crime like this where stamps have been targeted, from these regular postage stamps to collector's editions. These crooks have really done their homework. During the past three months, the stamp bandits have hit 11 post offices. The MO is always the same. The thieves gain access to the premises in the dark of night and force entry. Once inside, they move quickly. They're not interested in anything else. They go straight for the stamps and commemorative coins. They're only spending a short period of time in there. They are covering themselves and their faces and wearing gloves. Detective Chief Inspector Stuart Bell is leading the investigation. It's interesting that they're stealing stamps, which when you look at it, is another form of currency. They are, they actually have the face value of the stamp is what the stamp is worth. Uh, to date, they've stolen about $148,000 worth of stamps. On every job, the stamp bandits seem to know not only where the stamps are, but where the security cameras are. They obviously have some knowledge of what they're doing. These criminals are shopping to order. They obviously have an outlet for them. There is so little known about the, uh, the stamp industry from our policing perspective that it's been difficult to locate where the stamps are going. On the 18th of May, the stamp bandits go on their most ambitious crime spree. They knock over four post offices in just two hours. Ataman is first at midnight. Just 40 minutes later, they hit Dremoyne. As usual, they break in through the back door. On this occasion, they go straight to the storeroom. The thieves rip this door off its hinges. They've gained access to this storage room where you have a number of compartments where floats and stamps were kept. You can see where they've jimmied open each individual storage area to gain access and steal the contents. They weren't finished yet. In minutes, they rifle through every drawer, cupboard, safe. The Dremoyne Post Office is cleaned out of every single stamp. They even nicked the 10 cent ones. Soon after, they hit Annandale Post Office at 1.18 a.m. An hour later, they hit St Peter's. CCTV shows them follow their usual pattern. But this time, no stamps. They head to the storeroom. Again, no stamps. It's not going to plan. But our normally camera shy crooks don't want to leave empty handed. They grab what they can and finally offer up the smallest of clues to their identity. Take a look. First, one bloke looks at the camera. Then, there's a profile shot of his mate. And here's another look at the first crook. Resorting to sterling electronics, they use a post office bag to bundle them up. I wonder whether they leave their bedrooms as messy as this. We would hope that someone might recognise their build, their height, the eyes of the people. And if they do, please contact Crime Stoppers. Let's help police lick the stamp bandits. 